It's time to eat! Covered and like in shame. Good morning, everyone. Today we are in the beautiful little city of Valladolid and we are going for another delicious food tour. Believe it or not, we've been in the Yucatan Peninsula for over 50 days and we haven't even tried all of the regional dishes yet. So today we're going out to eat some of those dishes and also try some things that are specific to Valladolid. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We are so excited to show it to you. We made a list of things that we want to try and it's gonna be a mix of restaurants and street food. And today's Sunday, so we're hoping that a lot of like the food carts are out there with selling like all their stuff. And we're so excited to try them. And the first stop is down the street, 10 seconds from us. And we have to see if they have breakfast left because it's packed. <laughs> We're too late. They sold out all the tamales. What is the Le pongo su salsa. Es picante. Un poquito. Finally, we did come back because she's packed every single morning. And we have been here twice and she runs out of tamales and we just had like the second to last. So this one has chicken and eggs and it's like a dough like mixed with all that stuff with spicy sauce on top and cook on like a banana leaf. Mm. This reminds me so much of um, Venezuelan food. We have something similar for the holiday season that we make in December, it's called ayaca. And we make like bollitos, which is like very similar on this and the taste. It tastes like, similar. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm so happy we finally got to China. This is called Volcan, which in Mayan translates to head of a snake, I think because of the shape. And what it is, is basically a fried dough with pork skin, this one, and it has pulled pork on top with onions, and this one has, I think, I I think it's pork as well. On top of the dough is made mixed with beans and pumpkin seeds. So it's supposed to be really good. I think you eat it with your hands. I'm gonna try the pork one first because I love pork. Mm. This is so good. I think um. This is like pibio, cochinita on top. And the dough is like super crispy on the outside and like doughy. I don't really taste like pork skin yet in that bite at least. Is it like a corn dough? No. It's just, I mean, it is with corn, but it doesn't taste like a corn dough. Weirdly enough. Maybe because it's like mixed with other stuff, but it's really good. This place is like. 10 seconds from our apartment. And we're gonna be here for like nine or 10 more days. It's pretty dangerous. These things are delicious. They really like loaded up with the pork too, like it's pouring out. Very good deal. Okay, 
Pero tú, es ir a la ciudad. Aquí. Ah, estamos trabajando. Qué bueno. Ah, sí. Ah, Pero que esté bien. Sí. Feliz día. Sí. Un gusto. Sí. Ajá. Ajá. Buen día. Ah, bueno, señor. señor. Adiós. Did you follow that? It's so cute, no? It's funny, he has like a Mayan accent uh -huh. in Spanish. Yeah. It's hard to follow. But yeah, yeah. But he was so cute. Uh -huh. I think he just wanted to chat. Hola. ¿Tienes la normal o con chip? Ah, no tienes, solo tienes la normal. Solo la normal. Ok, bueno, una normal entonces por favor. Sí, gracias. Sí, gracias. So one of the most famous foods in Valladolid is longaniza de Valladolid, which is a sausage. And I looked everywhere to find like the best one in Valladolid because I'm kind of a psycho. And it took us here, it's like the way outskirts of town and it's just like an old woman's house who sells the sausage from like her front door. And there was like an old lady in a hammock and like little birds in cages and they just like have the sausages like behind a sheet basically. <laughs> so we picked some up. I asked the guy like how you eat this and he said usually like you fry it with either beans or with eggs or whatever. It's already smoked. I took a little bite just to make sure it wasn't raw and it's pretty good. It's super smoky. It's not like a, I don't know, like a juicy chorizo. It's kind of dry, but like in a good way, it's, it's really nice. Very crunchy. Hmm. That's really good. It's like a pork sausage with tons of spices, but it's so good that the guy that I was speaking to, he was coming from somewhere to go to Campeche, which is like three hours away. And he stopped in Valladolid just to buy the langonisa from Doña Trini. <laughs> and now it's time to go home because I'm covered in langonisa. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking around like I just murdered somebody. Like just covered in, like, in shame with my hands out. Sweet relief. My fingers are gonna smell like spiced sausage. Probably until we go back to the US. <laughs> We ordered another traditional dish from the Yucatan Peninsula region, but more specifically to Valladolid, and it's called Lomitos de Valladolid. And what it is, is pork loin cooked with a tomato sauce, and they put like an egg on top, like a hard boiled egg, and it's served with rice and avocado and white beans, or refried beans, and fresh tortillas. We're about to try a traditional Yucateco dessert. No, we're not. They're out of it. It's the story of our day. It seems like the bakery is not open today. We're too late. He said they used to have it on the menu, but they don't have it anymore because not a lot of people were buying it. So he I can't believe we haven't shown this in any of our other food tour videos. We have two more from the Yucatan Peninsula. We have had these almost every single day since we got in Mexico. It's just the mangoes are so good. And they put this spicy chili pepper with like salt and I think paprika and adobo. A bunch of delicious things and it's like tangy and spicy and salty. Mixed with the sweetness of the mango and it's just a little piece of heaven. I love this. I'm gonna miss this so much. So I'm 
to work. We came home to work for a little bit because we usually send a newsletter every Sunday and we didn't send it today, today is Sunday. So I'm gonna plug it here. If you want to sign up, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and you'll get an email every Sunday with things that we don't share anywhere else. Sign up. Time to eat more food. Yummy. Yes. It seems like everyone wants churros. The town square is packed with people. Packed. We've never seen it this packed, right? Yeah. And yeah, we're in a line to get some churros. You would think that this is like a meal that, or not a meal, like a dish or like a dessert or however you want to call it, a treat that you would have like after dinner, but no, it's an evening thing. So 5 p.m. is churro time. And so we're here. Or a Mexican rule? No, I read it somewhere. Oh. So I, I support that. Look at these babies. We just got our churros. Everything is made fresh at that little stand. So he like presses the dough out of the little churro thing and you get these sweet little designs and tossed into the fryer, rolled into some sugar, and it has like a cinnamony flavor. It's super crunchy on the outside. And like the inside dough is just like super fresh and, and delicious. And I'm dying because these are my favorites and I haven't had one yet. Oh, they're hot. Mm -hmm. Mm. Nothing can ever go wrong. It's like a hot, chewy cinnamon toast crunch. I've never had cinnamon toast crunch, I think. You need to do a food tour in America. <laughs> Bottles on top of their heads while they dance. It's crazy, right? Yeah, there is still next. Okay. Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. Bienvenidos al restaurant del Marqués. Gracias. Habanero, salsa verde. Okay, you just upgrade your food to it. This is called Zak Go'o. It's a Mayan name. It's shredded chicken with a corn cream sauce and spices and I think a tomato based sauce in there too with raisins and almonds and olives. I didn't think I was going to try this today and actually we haven't seen many of these like cream sauces in the Yucatan but I think they are super local. It feels like Thanksgiving. It's like a gravy. And obviously it's chicken so like not turkey but it's very like homey. Like hearty and warm and soul soothing. It's good though, I like it. So I ordered queso relleno thinking that it would be queso relleno from like like the one that we saw in Campeche that we never tried but the waiter explained to us that this was like the Valladolid version which is more like a stew, a soup and it is like Dutch cheese with turkey and chicken and I think this is like a like a pork sausage and there's a ton of veggies here and it comes in like a really rich broth I'm gonna get a bite with like a piece of cheese and chicken and onions the Dutch cheese is delicious Dutch cheese is the best cheese in the world of course, yeah, say it again <laughs> Not everyone knows. Gordon Dutch. Um, it's it, it's like a like an onion soup almost, but like with meat in it. Today definitely wasn't the smoothest food tour, but it was still a lot of fun. And we're ending it with two things that I didn't even imagine that I would have today: the dinner I just had, and also this is Ixta Bentun. This is a Mayan liquor made from the like endemic Mayan bee, like the stingless bee. This is something that I've been waiting to have for like 60 days, so I'm pretty excited that they have it here. Made with a it's, bee? Yeah, the honey from the stingless bee. It's the Mayan bee. It smells like a like a raki. 
What's up, Turkey? <laughs> Gordon tries Rocky. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Lion's <Come on>. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> And it tastes like Raki. Oh, really? It's like a nice flavor. It's not as like strong. Like, it doesn't really give you the punch to the face like Raki does, but it's really good. It's sweet, anisey. I like it. It reminds me of turkey. Yeah. Cheers, Vayadolid. Thanks for watching the food tour. Hope you guys liked it. See you next time. We were just walking down the street to our apartment and we were talking about how safe Mexico has felt like in general. And then we get to our door and I completely forgot to lock it. And this isn't like a door that like closes. So it was like a little bit open and all of our stuff, like our computers, our camera equipment is just laying there. The window's right there so you can like see most of it. Mexico has real bad reputation. But yeah, it's been super safe, but I'm also an idiot for not closing the doors. Oh well. So we were kind of asking for it. Good night. Good night. That's my story. What are you doing in the bushes? <laughs> We're just stealing the internet from our old apartment so we can upload our new YouTube video. It's a good thing you don't look super sketchy right now. Yeah. Just. I'm maybe just eating some grapes. <laughs> Forty-five minutes later. <laughs> Forty-five minutes later. And a broken computer lady. <laughs> video. It's uploaded. That's what it took for you to watch today's video. Let us know which food is your favorite. And hello from Albania. We'll see you next time. Hopefully the next upload will be a little bit more smooth. <laughs> Not from a bush. Bye.